Here I have Motorola Moto X4 and let me show you how to accomplish bypassing Google verification on the following device. So let me show you how to remove the factory rust protection on the following phone. So at the very beginning let's start by using the following panel when you have to input your password and email to your Google account. Let's just assume that, that you would like to bypass this step because for example you just forgot your password. So let me go back to the first screen to a welcome panel choose vision settings choose talkback let's turn on talkback right here tab ok talkback on talkback is a screen reader primarily for people with blindness and low vision now you can load down the program so let me use the volume down to mute the to, to mute the talkback let's use the L letter let's write L on the screen to open global context menu let's choose talkback settings double tap here you have to always double tap things to confirm it. Let's scroll down and choose the help and feedback. As you can see here you can scroll down by using two fingers. Choose help and feedback, double tap. Let's use the search key, double tap. Let's use the following uh, phrase, voice. Alright, let's use voice, choose the first link, so get started with voice access, let's play it. Now we have to use the share key, let's wait for the share key in that corner, this is the share key, let's tap it, choose more key. This is the YouTube application, that's what we need. Let's minimalize this. And let me just qu quit this by using two fingers. Now we have to use the account right here in that corner. So let's type in account. Here you have to choose settings. So let's tap settings. Choose about. So let me tap about. Double tap. Here you have to choose Google privacy policy. Double tap. Tap accept and continue. Choose no thanks. Now use the following website. So let me just click on the following searcher. So let's delete all phrase by using that key. And now you need to enter the following link download. Dot hard reset. Dot info. So let's tap search, download dot hard reset dot info. This is the following website. Let's make it bigger. These folders here you have to find and select the Moto uh, Motorola folder right here. So you need to navigate here by tapping appropriate options. So let me find the way to navigate here. Excellent. So as you can see now you can scroll down to highlight the Motorola. It's not easy to navigate in the talkback, but when you have highlighted your folder, let's double tap. And here let's use the FRP, so let's make it bigger also in my case. And let me just use the FRP. This is the FRP highlighted, double tap wh wherever you want. And here you've got the following folder Android 8 so let me also choose this folder try to navigate somehow this is the Android 8 let's double tap let's make it bigger and this is the one application that you have to install so let's open this up
highlight this application, let's double tap, tap continue, tap allow Chrome to access photos, media and files on the device, tap OK to the following information. If nothing happens, you can tap on this application one more time and download it one more time. Tap allow. Choose download. The uh, device is downloading the app. Now you can open this app. Let's choose open. So here the Chrome don't have uh, the access to the installing apps, but let's choose settings. Let's allow from the source. Let's go back. You just define the Chrome as a source, so now you can choose an install. Tap open right here, the FRP bypass application, and now you can use this. So let's choose Google Account Manager APK install. Let's choose for version 6.0 in my case, tap settings. Let's allow from the source. Let's go back, tap next, tap install, and you just install the Google Account Manager, let's tap done. Now we can choose bypass FRP, double tap, let's choose browser sign in, sorry, let's go back. Just by choose bypass FRP one more time, choose browser sign in, double tap, and now let's choose more key, choose browser sign in again, tap OK to confirm it, and now you can sign in into the any Google account. So let's just sign in into the account that you know, the credential that you know, the email and password, it could be any Google account. So let's start by inputting the email. Let me input the email right here. Let's choose next. Sorry, let me correct my email. Right now, I am almost ready. Let's tap next. Now let me enter the password, so let's wait a few seconds. Alright, if you are ready, let's just sign in right here by using that key. Wait a couple of seconds, the device occurs some problems, but let's tap next. Let's just open up again. Let's wait for a few seconds or maybe even a few minutes. the following info pops up let's press power key let me restart the device tab restart let's hope that the moto x4 add the google account to the device
so let me go back right here let's choose let's go tab setup as a new tab accept and continue the phone is checking for updates as you can see account added so it means that now the account that you had previously is ready to be used you don't need to enter the old google account connected to your device tap next a couple of times let me tap skip right here let me don't add any fingerprint skip anyway choose more key in order to go next tab agree Choose next. Choose no thanks to the assistant permissions. Choose all set. Let's scroll down. Choose next. Let me don't add any account. So let me unclick it. Tab skip. Tab skip right here. Here we've got the Moto Experience, let's go next, and now you can use your device. But let me fully erase the uh, factor risk protection by using the settings. Let's scroll down and tap settings, let me also disable the talkback, so let's start with the talkback. Type in in settings talkback, so here I have talkback in accessibility of course. But let me choose the talkback and let me disable this feature by using the following switcher tab OK. And now we can use the settings. So let me go back, choose the system, let's select about phone, find build number and tab a couple of times on build number. You are now a developer. You can go back and here let's choose reset, tab factory data reset read the information as you can see this is the email that you add previously and so the new email that you connect to this device let me perform the hard reset operation to fully erase all account information on that device but before you accomplish the, the following operation you need to find and select the developer options so let me tap it and here let's enable the OEM unlocking tab enable let's go next now let's choose reset tab factory data reset choose reset phone and tab erase everything now the moto x x4 is performing the hard reset operation and erasing all account information and the factory reset protection from the device Excellent, now let's go through the welcome panel. Let me just activate the device, tap set up as a new, choose skip inserting the SIM card and also the connection to a Wi-Fi. Let me just go quickly through this connection and setup process. Let's choose skip anyway. Tap more key to Google services, choose agree to all of them, tap next right here. Moto experience, let's tap got it, tap allow. And now you can use your device. So as you can see, you just erased the factor rest protection. Everything went well. Now you may just use your device in a normal way. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel. Leave a thumbs up under the video.